Hello! So today I'm going to do a quick little review. So I'm going to be reviewing the Bobbi Brown Oil Free Even Finish Compact Foundation. I've got this one in beige, which is number three, and I was matched by the makeup artist at the Bobbi Brown counter in my local house of Fraser. I would definitely recommend going to a counter and getting matched by the makeup artist. But definitely, if you feel that the match for you is wrong, like if your skin looked a bit more orange, especially under those fluorescent lights, don't hesitate to say, no, I prefer the lighter one or the darker one or whatever. Or it's a little bit too orange for me, you know. They will understand, like it's your preference, you've got to be happy with it at the end of the day. Once you take it home and use it and you already knew it wasn't the right shade for your face, you can't really return it because it's a used product. So remember that because these can be pricey. I think this was £29, which is quite expensive, but I wanted a good compact foundation that was a cream to powder. So I looked up this online and then I went to my local counter. So this is what it looks like, it's sleek and black and you know classic black patent with a Bobbi Brown logo on it, classic Bobbi Brown. Like it is quite big for a compact I'd say. If I compare it to MAC Studio Fix, because it's rounded whereas this is more like square shaped, it's a little bit bigger if you can see that. You've got the button here, just press that to open it and then you've got the full size mirror sorry for blinding you, with the product here. As you can see, mine is used, I'm wearing it today. And then there's um, lifty things up here, so you can lift that up, and you have a sponge underneath. I don't use the sponge because when I was getting matched, the makeup artist said that she was gonna use a brush, and she said that was the best way to use this foundation to use a flat foundation brush, so I've just been using a flat foundation brush because it applies easier, you can wash the brush quite easily as well, and it's easier to spread across the face. So this is the product, if I just swatch it, it's very creamy, but when you apply it onto skin, it turns into a sort of powdery finish. Now you probably can't really see it too much, there are some other swatches on my hand too. It's right here, this one. It's good that you can't really see it too much because that means it actually does match me and hopefully you can tell that it does match me. I like how it feels on the skin, it's very light. The only thing is because it's oil free it does tend to be a little bit dry. So I find that I put on a moisturiser in the morning, which I would do normally anyway, and then I would use a primer. When I was getting matched they put the Bobbi Brown primer on me and I was quite excited to buy that but it was a little out of my budget so I didn't get that. Instead I've been using my Laura Mercier foundation primer, this is just the normal one. But for my moisturiser I've just been using this in the daytime which is the Body Shop Seaweed Mattifying Lotion. It has SPF 15 in it and I've also found that if I don't use the Laura Mercier foundation primer then that's good enough to prep my skin. I don't actually have very oily skin but I thought I'd get the oil free stuff because I do get blemishes. I don't like blemishes, no one does I'm sure. I thought I'd try this because you know you don't want to put extra oils on your face anyway so as long as you're hydrating it with moisturiser and then you can apply your foundation. Usually I let my moisturiser sink in for about five minutes or so before I start applying any makeup. Even though this does finish to a powder I like to top it up with MAC Studio Fix powder just using a small kabuki brush just swirling on the powder and then just applying it all over so that when I apply my blush and bronzer and things it kind of it's powder on powder rather than powder on creamed powder which doesn't really sit too well although I have used it without applying MAC Studio Fix powder and it seemed fine I just prefer it with the powder now see the weird thing about this foundation and the ingredients is it does have iron oxides which I don't personally have anything against but I know some people do. There's no oils in there so it is definitely an oil free compact foundation. There is silica though and silica is the stuff that you find and you know like when you buy a new product and you get like this silica gel in there to like dry out the moisture from the air so there's that sort of you know drying sensation as well. So definitely if you have oily skin this would be a good product for you. It does last about 8 hours on my skin personally so I really like that because it means I can apply it on and then 
I only need to touch up if I'm going out. And then I can just take this with me because it's got the mirror and the sponge there as well. I'm only going to use the sponge for touch-ups when I need to, so that's fine. Because you know sponges like absorb all the product and I don't like that. I like to use all my products. So it does give a sort of medium coverage if you just apply one layer but you can build up to give a better coverage to suit your needs so like if you have an area where there's a lot of imperfection you can apply more foundation there to an area where your skin doesn't need as much coverage. So I think that's all I have to say about the Bobbi Brown Even Finish Compact Foundation, oil free. If you want me to do a foundation tutorial using that and all the other products I use, so starting from moisturiser to primer, foundation and application, powder and the rest, I can do that for you. Just leave me a comment and let me know. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again next time. Bye! I thought I had some extra time so I'd just make a little video and this is the only thing that I've got prepared at the moment so there we go. I don't even need to say that. And especially under those fluorescent lights. <laughs> Which is nice, it's not gonna like offend anyone and so anyway, <laughs> enough of the lecture.